Hello everyone, welcome to G4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use upgrade status module to upgrade your Drupal website from 8 to 9 or 9 to 10. Okay, so first let's install this module. Go to your command prompt and install it. First, composer require Drupal slash upgrade status. So once the module is downloaded, go to your website, click on extend. It's upgrade status, click on upgrade status and enable the module. Once module is enabled, go here reports and upgrade status. There will be new menu called upgrade status, click on it. So here, it uh, this page contain all the set of modules which you have in your project, custom module and also the contrib modules it will list. And also uh, here you have a summary report of your uh, Drupal projects. First, uh, you have to scan to get list of deprecation, what it has. So these two modules we are not uh, enabled, but it, it's in the custom folder. So it's in the remove category since we are not using it. And these are the custom module which I already have. So I'm going to scan all the custom modules. And next, this is the country module which is not compatible with the uh, Drupal version. And all these are the country module which is compatible for your Drupal 10, okay? So let's scan all. So once scanning is done, it will give the report of what or whatever the uh, functions or any services if you are using in those projects, if that is going to be uh, deprecated, all will be listed. So some you can do by automation fix, some you can do by uh, manual fix. So all will be listed. Let's see how it is going to show us. Okay. Now the uh, scanning is done. Let's go down. And here, so these two are not using, but it scanned that too. When you click on it, it, it will uh, show you the deprecated, what, what is deprecated in this module. So these errors, you have to fix it by manually. And it is collaborate with maintainer. So since it's a contrib module, you have to collaborate this with maintainer. You can create a issue or you can do anything what you want so when you click on it so these are the deprecated functions which is present in the workflow module all you have to do manually there is no automation fix in this module and next when you scroll down so this is the uh, custom module which i already created so this you can fix by automation fix with rector I will create a separate video about how to use Rector and how to fix all the issues. So this video only uh, contains how you can upgrade your Drupal lower version to higher version by using the upgrade status, okay? So this has two and this is one uh, deprecated function which you can use a Rector to fix and we have one more that you have to do by manually, okay? And these also call a custom module. So here also you have value this not compatible with the uh, major version of Drupal. So you have to remove that too. And all these are the country module which is compatible. So you don't have any issue in these country modules. Okay. So let's open one custom module and fix one. And let's scan again how it is going to show. Okay. custom module. I'm going to open custom module in my uh, custom folder in Visual Studio. Open it. And this is dependent dropdown, right? So first one is uh, fix now with automation. So you can fix this duplicated function by using your Drupal Rector. 
Drupal director will help you to fix issues automatically by running just a command. I will post a separate video regarding this. And next we have check manually. This you have to check manually and you have to update it manually. So here we have issue called independent.info.yml and core version requirement is not compatible. So next major version for Drupal is 10. We have only eight and nine there. So we have to add 10 there. Go to your independent module info and add 10 here. And save it and close. So once you updated the, your code, click on this and scan it again. Now the scanning done for your project. When you click here, you can see the error gone. Only we have one uh, deprecation that you can fix with automation. You can uh, use upgrade status module to upgrade your Drupal version from lower to higher. And this way you can easily figure out what are the functions are deprecated and how you can upgrade it with rector or by you have to check it manually or if you want to ignore some issues you can ignore it okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye